Billy, you were shouting during the local hour in the shadows in the background that Josh Allen sucks, and you've been saying yeah. for half a season that you simply do not trust the Bills. No. Yeah. I was hoping you wouldn't hear that. Sometimes I just say things, you know what I mean? Like, especially in the background off mic, because I'm like, ah, eh, who's going to hear this? Who's going to? And then hopefully one or two people hear it, and then it's a laugh, and but then I you, get to skate by. But you can be the, the hero who has believed in the Dolphins all along, and we're saying Josh Allen sucks when no one was saying Josh Allen yeah. sucks. Well, no, he does. Wait, what do you mean? I don't actually believe it. He doesn't actually suck. He does I don't. both. You think he actually stinks? I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens. You don't trust Josh situation. Allen said it himself. See, he said he played like shit. He said it, it's not possible I know him to win than when your quarterback plays like shit. Yeah, I mean, it's tough to win in this league. Um, you're playing a good team, and your quarterback plays like shit. Made some bad decisions tonight. Really cost our team. A lot to learn from. A lot to grow from. But that's not that's not the uh, standard we hold ourselves to. That's not the ball that we play. Um, so, a lot to look at. A lot to learn from. Do the Jets have the best defense in the league? I, I, what would even be the competition? I think Tennessee last night. I know, and in, in a loss, but when your when your quarterback completes five passes and you're in it in overtime against the Chiefs, that's probably a, a, a damn good defense. Uh, put this on the poll, Guillermo at Lebetard Show. Did in reality the Titans win last night because Derrick Henry went around the locker room and individu individually shook every defender's hand? thanking them for just being great against Mahomes. <laughs> he went around the entire locker room and just shook everybody's hand saying, thank you. We're going to play this constipated ball where you guys just keep us in the game and they run me 30 times and we're going to see if we can win with football against Mahomes, if we can win with football from the 1950s. You don't trust the Bills, Billy, correct? You don't believe that they have earned, after 20 years, 17 years not making the playoffs, Josh Allen doesn't fix everything, you don't trust him or them. I think that they're not this, uh, well, obviously, they're not this unbeatable juggernaut that everyone's making them out to be, and I think that at some point, odds are it's going to catch up to them in the playoffs. Like, they will lose a game that they should win. And but, but, what, like, but what is it, though? Like The I, running I, game. That's fair. The, the the running game. Well, and him turning the ball over. Like he can have one of these four turnover games if a defense is good enough. Like those were some bad. He had a he had a bad pick yesterday, and he and he does that sometimes. Like he is. I don't know if they've they've they haven't coached the reckless out of him. They've minimized it, but he still does well, reckless that, things. That recklessness is back at least for the last four and a half quarters of football. Courtesy of Nick Wright, Josh Allen now has four picks and two fumbles in his last four and a half quarters. Yeah, and on the season, he's already got eight. And that, I mean, he had 15 last year, so it's not like he was great with interceptions, but he's got probably three games that you can say he was bad this season, even though they they beat the Packers. They could have, they probably, you were there, Mike, they could have very easily put that game away and covered. We're not for the turnovers. Right, and we're, we're not for the turnovers and just generally uh, not spectacular. I, I mean, you can say his numbers are good against the Dolphins, but... They only scored 19 points. He only had 213 yards and a pick against the Ravens as well. And and, and yesterday wasn't great either. But I, I guess my skepticism, and I, I would assume Billy's skepticism, was on the basis of, well, Buffalo hasn't done this yet. And they got to the championship game, and they were great against the Chiefs, and they were very unlucky. I guess they got to the semifinal. But they, they were unlucky to have not gotten further in the playoffs. They were 13 seconds from being good enough. Right, exactly. But... I, I, you just sort of felt like everyone was running away with them in preseason. They're going to win 13 or 14 games. They're going to get to the Super Bowl. They're this and they're that. And it was sort of interesting that like I, I, everyone wanted to be ahead on that. And while they have been spectacular for most of this season, there there are some signs that maybe they're not the unstoppable juggernaut. I've kind of always bristled at the people pointing out that the running game is an Achilles he uh, heel because I saw the Chiefs win with Damian Williams as their their key back and Josh Allen is their running game and they've actually done a really good job Singletary's really come on in terms of a, a receiver and those are essentially running plays but I do think especially if Josh Allen is hurt and you have a dilution by degrees and maybe he can't run it with the same sort of a, a effectiveness and maybe he's just dropping a little bit on the accuracy it's something else that you could go to 
they shipped off their power back and they leaned more into it. They brought in Hines. I'm like, that's not what they need. They need someone to help salt the game away so it's not just your quarterback doing it. Well, Winningham says the phrase unstoppable juggernaut. There's no such thing, right? I mean, I guess the Eagles right now are the thing that looks like it the most. But when you look... Have you seen those opposing quarterbacks they've played, though, this season? When you look at yesterday's games, you had two, two Colts, Patriots, Bengals, Panthers. They weren't close. Every week you're watching and something like Jets Buffalo happens. All the games are close. Everyone's evenly matched. Everyone, I don't know why the Colts just decided to dump their season. Because at 3 3 and 1 with Matt Ryan, you've got a chance because there are 20 teams in the league that are like that. Every week I'm watching, expecting to see more Bengals Panthers games. And I never see more Bengals Panthers games. You're, the, the aberrations and the oddities are Patriots Colts. And it's because the Colts have dumped their season. The Panthers are truly terrible and are going to have a couple of games like that where they get slaughtered the same way the Steelers are going to have them when they go into Buffalo. But that's such a rarity in that sport. And I legitimately don't understand it. I don't get how all the games are close. I'm watching yesterday. And I don't for the life of me understand how the Raiders can get up 17-0 and then they lose the game because all of these games have to be one-score games. They've done that three times this year. Cardinals, the Chiefs, and this Jags game, they've blown 17-plus point leads. I I don't understand what's going on in Vegas. I wasn't a bad team last year. I made a bad hire, it would appear. But isn't that the design of the league, though? The league is designed for this. The NFL... Wants to have 32, I guess, 8, 8, and 1 teams. They they want every team to sort of be on a level playing field that any given Sunday is true. Well, you think the NFL has been shitty this year, do you not? I, I kind of think most of the, like last night, I felt totally comfortable going to bed at halftime. And and or or, or, or keep doing again. this with halftime. What yeah. is happening with you with I, halftime? I, you know, I I listened to a lot of Premier League coverage, and that's how they say halftime. Bet at halftime, yeah. have some breakfast. I have, a, <laughs> I have a question for you. So, yeah. like, do you because you have not obviously said halftime this way your entire life? <laughs> I have. So, like, do you you have not? There is absolutely We're no chance that you have. It. No, you haven't, man. no. But here's my question: Wait. like, do you have for yourself like a re-education process? Like, you sit down and and like. Have to say halftime like thirty times in a row yeah. until you finally convince your brain like this is the and way. And if you to say it the old it. way, you're like you idiot. You like start yelling yeah. at yourself. <laughs> I probably I, I do both. That, that's what happens. You know, also this happens with and sometimes I screw up the podcast description as a result. Uh, like Arsenal, the football team is described as a plural, so you say Arsenal are as opposed to Arsenal is, where you would say now, you happens. would say New England is. You also, like, I sometimes my eyes have difficulty orientating on which team is the home team, because over there they list the home team first, and over here they list the home team second. There's a lot of things where I'm just sort of doing both, and I'm sort of caught in two minds. These are sports things that are the equivalent of driving on the other side of the Correct. road when you're Correct. in the Bahamas. I don't care what anyone tells me, the Miami Heat are winning. It's not is winning. It's no. never going to be that. I don't care what anyone tells me. I always sing the Heat are on. The heat are on. 